The U.S. made Javelin anti-tank missile dove sharply toward the Russian tank as it advanced toward Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. These weapons allowed the Ukrainian army to keep up its resistance to the Russian forces. The portable but deadly weapon enables Ukrainian soldiers to seriously harm Russian artillery and tanks. The force of Ukrainian Javelin missiles, which are prepared to obliterate Russian armored tanks, has trapped Russian tanks. How did Ukraine use Javelins to surround Russian soldiers on the battlefield? For the Ukrainian army, which is expanding after receiving numerous weapons from the U.S., this is progress. In response to the Russian invasion, the United States and its allies have poured weapons into Ukraine in recent weeks. One particular weapon, the Javelin missile, has received attention as a result of social media posts showing destroyed Russian tanks. In less than a week this month, the U.S. and other NATO nations sent more than 17,000 anti-tank weapons, including Javelin missiles, overland to Ukraine via Poland and Romania. Former journalist Christian Boris imagined a saint holding a Javelin and its launcher. According to Boris on Twitter, the image on stickers and other gear has raised more than $1 million, which will go. The anti-tank missiles are in the spotlight as a convoy of Russian military vehicles slowly approaches Kyiv and draws attention from all over the world. Although they caution that the missile systems alone are unlikely to change the course of the war, weapons experts claim that the Javelin could prove particularly effective against Russian tanks. An anti-tank missile system called Javelin locks onto a target's thermal image. The soldier chooses various targets and attack types while peering through a command launch unit. Prior to the primary motor firing and launching the rocket, the missile's launch motor propels it out of the tube when it is fired. The enemy will have a harder time determining where it was launched due to the gentler start's reduction of debris and smoke. It employs a fire-and-forget system that enables the soldier to hide or load a new missile while the other is moving in the direction of its target. The system has a range of up to 212 miles and can fire day or night. While the Javelin can strike any heat-emitting vehicle, it is most effective against tanks because it can attack from above. Because it falls to the ground at a sharp angle, it is similar to the spear used in track and field events, which is why it is called a javelin. According to Mark Kanchian, senior advisor for the International Security Program at the Center for Strategic and International Study, the javelin is probably the most advanced and most powerful anti-tank weapon. According to Ukraine, the fighting has cost Russia 335 tanks and just over 1,100 armored combat vehicles. According to Amel Kotlarsky, a senior analyst at Jane's, an open-source defense intelligence agency, there are no reliable statistics on the quantity and results of Javelin missiles used by Ukraine in combat. Defense contractors Raytheon and Lockheed Martin created the anti-tank missile. The missile automatically guides itself to the target after launch, allowing the gunner to hide and avoid counterfire or load a new missile, according to the latter's website. Additionally, it launches more gently, making it difficult for the enemy to determine where it originated. According to the Lockheed Martin website, the gunner must move the cursor over the chosen target in order to fire. The missile is then given a lock-on before launch signal by the Javelin Command and Launch Unit. Javelin can be safely fired from inside structures or bunkers thanks to its soft launch design. Javelin climbs above its target for better visibility, and then strikes where the armor is most vulnerable using an arch top attack profile, according to Lockheed Martin, because it mimics the trajectory of spears thrown in track and field events, which fall to the ground at acute angles, it is called a javelin. The scope and other information the javelin missiles can be launched both during the day and at night, and they have a range of 2.5 miles. Javelins can take on any vehicle that emits heat because they also have a thermal scanner. One soldier can operate it, though more hands would be required to carry additional launch tubes. If there is protection above them, javelins can also be used to hit an adversary. The shoulder-fired, 46-pound weapon can also hit helicopters. The most advanced and potent weapon the Ukrainians have, though not the most numerous, is the javelin, according to Mark Kanchian of the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Currently wreaking havoc on the Russian invaders are the Javelin anti-tank missiles that played a role in former President Donald Trump's first impeachment for purposefully delaying military aid to Ukraine. Military experts claim that the small but deadly weapon has helped the outnumbered Ukrainians seriously harm Moscow's renowned military and halt their advance. 
the American-made weapon has not only come to represent resistance, but it has also earned the moniker Saint Javelin thanks to a meme made by Canadian marketer Christian Boris that depicts Mary Magdalene, a saint of the Orthodox Church, holding a javelin in her arms. According to Chair John Spencer, the javelin, and very specifically the advanced capabilities of that system, have been essential to Ukrainian military survival and its ability to hold ground against the Russians. The 46-pound shoulder-fired weapon, made by defense contractors Raytheon and Lockheed Martin, has the lethality to penetrate any tank or mobile vehicle on the battlefield. Helicopters can also be He added, the javelins have taken on a symbolic meaning beyond the military. According to Mark Kanchian of the Center for International Study, who also agreed, the most advanced and potent weapon the Ukrainians have, though not the most numerous, is the javelin, according to Kanchi. According to Kanchi, the Ukrainians have more NLOS spike anti-tank missiles made in Israel as well as Panzerfaust three German anti-tank weapons in their arsenal. The short answer is that infantry anti-tank weapons seem to be quite effective. There are numerous videos of their use on social media. These weapons must play a role in the relatively small and weak Ukrainian forces' ability to resist given that the Russians appear to be moving very slowly, if not actually stalling. Russia has a force that is roughly four times the size of Ukraine's 130,000 strong army. Additionally, compared to Ukraine's military budget of $1.6 billion, it spends about $78 billion annually on its armed forces. One of the more than 1,700 anti-tank oh, weapons that NATO has rushed to Ukraine by a Poland since Moscow's forces invaded more than three weeks ago is the FGM-148 Javelin, experts said. Their effectiveness was quickly demonstrated when the Russian tank advance on the capital city of Kyiv was swiftly stopped in its tracks. The Javelin, which is typically operated by a pair of soldiers, can fire a heat-seeking missile up to 2.5 miles away. A fire-and-forget system on it enables the soldiers to quickly take cover after firing, preventing the enemy from detecting them. The reason it strikes tanks from the top like a spear is why it is called a Javelin. They claimed that because javelins have direct fire capabilities, they pose a threat to helicopters that are flying close to the ground. They added that the javelin is also simple to use, which is advantageous given that many civilians in Ukraine who lack military training are engaged in combat. By posting pictures of their soldiers carrying the weapons and images of demolished Russian tanks, the Ukrainians have hailed the Javelin's success. According to several published reports, Kyiv placed its first order for a little over 200 Javelin missiles in 2018. Trump agreed to give Ukraine $250 million in military aid in the same year. These tools didn't, however, play a role in the scandal that led to Trump's first impeachment until a year later. Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, said in a phone conversation with Trump on July 25, 2019, We are almost ready to buy more javelins from the United States for defense purposes. I would like you to do us a favor though. As Ukraine is well aware of the difficulties that our nation has faced, Trump said in response. Then, Trump suggested that Zelensky look into any potential corruption in the Ukrainian business dealings of Joe Biden, who was then seen as Trump's main rival for the presidency in 2020 and his son Hunter Biden. Following their phone conversation, in which Zelensky received the Ukrainian president's assurance that his new attorney general would look into these matters, Trump announced the release of millions of dollars in military aid for Ukraine. Fire in the hole, fire in the hole, fire in the hole!